What is going on? Yes, it's been a long time. We're not even going to talk about that. But right now, we are going on a journey. Don't know where. Um, I do know that I have to find some video games that I've been looking for for a while. So we're just going to go and see if we can find them and kind of just travel today. Let's get going. I actually can't go nowhere without gas. So, and I'm on like dead E, like probably would have stalled out had I not pulled into a gas station. First stop is gonna be Game On in Saginaw. I'm trying to just see. I, I think I'm pretty sure that they don't have what I'm looking for, but first stop, let's check it out. Just out of curiosity, do you guys um do you guys change the batteries for the Game Boy Color games? The Pokemon ones, yes, because they're almost always dead. The color stuff, typically not. Okay. Because I have a uh, Pokemon Crystal that the internal battery died. Oh yeah, we do that. Okay. Uh, like ten bucks. Ten bucks. And I can just bring it in and. Yeah, we'll let you know when it's done. Okay, sweet. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. All right, have a good day. I'll see you guys in like an hour. Got to go back home. <laughs> so they didn't have what I was looking for. However, I did find out that they do change the batteries for Game Boy Color games. Like they said, Pokemon. Because uh, I have a Pokemon Crystal. It's not even mine. It's my best friend's. And he's letting me borrow it right now. Because he told me it's obviously it's broken. So I'm going to get a fix for him. Because it's his favorite game. And I have his Game Boy Color. Pretty much I robbed him for all of his stuff because he's not using it i'm gonna return it to him just want to beat the game and collect all the pokemon there used to be this pawn shop in saginaw that kind of specialized in video games i forgot what it's called however it's right by kokomo so i'm actually going to check that place out right now and see if they have anything it's called video games it's been such a long time since i was in here Very retro stuff look at that 360 games. Hey, How's it going today, sir? Doing good. It's been such a long time since I've been in here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do you guys have uh, like Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games? Well, a lot of them have sold. Let uh, me look at you right there. I don't think I have the system. I may have a Game Boy Advance one. This is what I'm looking for. You know, they even still got boxes and stuff for some of these. This Dragon Ball Z game was a really good game. Ooh, look at that. This is what I'm looking for right here. Facts. May I get a game out of here? Sure. Uh, the Pokemon Gold. Yeah, that's when that came in. That was a reprint. You can tell they bought it off eBay or whatever. Yeah. So when you, look, when you open up some of these, you'll you'll notice the difference, and that's what we try to do is open them all up and take a peek at them and see mm -hmm. what they are. Most people don't care; they just want to play the game. That's why they buy them online or buy them whatever. Yeah. So what does it mean by reprint? So it's not the actual game then, or? You no, know, it's the same game. It okay. plays, it's just made by someone else. Nintendo's not making anything anymore except for the Switch. Yeah. So the first main games are considered the Nintendo art the Nintendo. It all means, if you see reprint anywhere, if you're online and see reprint, um, consider that not originally made by Nintendo. Okay. Super cool guy. I would recommend this store to almost all gamers. The guy is very knowledgeable. And we talked a little bit about things called uh, reprints. And they're not really the original game. They're just reprints of the game. Obviously, it's in the, the title. But, yeah, I mean, really super cool guy. I will probably start doing more business with him. Because of the conversations that I had. 
much as everyone else who's just kind of ignored me and didn't really acknowledge me. But I mean, I can't be mad at that. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's a business that everyone has to run. So, off to Midland. I got some bad news. Game on is supposed to be right there. And it's not. So we drove all this way just to be turned back around. You know what, there's actually a nature trail out here that I've been meaning to see, so I'm just gonna go and check that out. Not waste my time. And just head up north, I guess, because I mean, at this point, all this drive was almost for nothing, but we can definitely make a fun day out of this still. This place is called the Whiting Forest, and I'm really hoping I'm in the right spot because I don't think it is. Definitely am in the wrong spot. That gentleman just told me that I can't go through those doors. I would have to go all the way up the road just to get to the right spot. Man, we we're having bad luck today. It's all right. We out the house, so who cares, right? I definitely made it this time. At least I hope. It's called the Dower Gardens is where we're going to be heading, so I'm praying I can get in this way. By far, I found out the worst news. You actually have to make a reservation to get inside, which isn't the end of the world. I should have done this yesterday, but then again, I really didn't know what I was going to do today. But yeah, we got out. Sure, you know, we can go even further up north. We'll find something, man. We'll find something. So, I was looking up trails that were kind of near me, and the closest one was called Chippa Water in Mount Pleasant. So, I see a lot of people here actually with tubes and canoes. So, we're going to have a fun time and see what happens. I'm going to be starting this uh, trail. And they have, they have like an audio thing that kind of tells you about the entire land and the plants and stuff. So, this should be a pretty sweet walk. I don't know how long it is, which I'm really hoping that it's not more than 10 miles. Because if it's more than 10 miles, then I guess I'll be up for the challenge. But... I'd really like to avoid a long walk if I can. This is actually pretty cool. Like, I'm learning a lot about what this place has been through. Because this used to be like a land waste. So, there was a group of people who have came here and actually Natural cleaned this all up to like plant lines. trees and stuff to make it a, the way it is. So I just, like, you can literally tube and canoe through all this stuff, and it's actually pretty cool. Resuming workout. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring some friends here so we can actually come through this. So the lady kind of going down the stream there, she was, uh, just told me it's a four-hour float. So, that's actually pretty cool. And it's free, but all you have, you have to have, like, your own stuff to do it, but four hours, I mean... That's pretty cool. I have no idea where to go either because there's so many different trails here to go down that I don't even know where to begin. I am learning a lot of the history though. Like, look at this, man. I mean, this just, because you guys know how much I love nature and I wouldn't be here right now if I wouldn't have never Googled it because I didn't even know this place even existed. But we're just gonna keep going along and see what happens area that surrounds this loop of the trail so three species, i made it to this spot beach, right here red oak and sugar it's like a swamp almost found ideal this is actually conditions. really really dope sorry for all the things i'm just trees. learning of the history of all this while growing conditions change allowing other species to become while tracking my walking beach, and how far i'm going sugar maple find out that this trail right here maybe about a half a mile uh, I just saw people on bikes, so I just thought I would ask them. Super nice people. Uh, but yeah, they said there's like a roundabout, there's some good sceneries and stuff over here. So we're going to go check that out and pray to God that I don't get hit by a person on a bike coming through here because it looks pretty thin. I'm actually very happy that I came here, well at least decided to because trails are super nice there's so much scenery i learned so much about trees which i guess people really wouldn't care about trees i do though because this is nice and it's awesome to know that like this used to be a wasteland and people actually took care of it like look at this look at this 
Don't want to fall in here because my luck, I probably will. Uh, I really would like to have a tubing trip with some friends here. Let's just keep going to see what else is up here. I think this is like the last bit of the trail because I already went on the other side and there wasn't really much except for that swamp. And I found out that when that overflows, that actually comes in here. And just, ooh. Don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or not, but I probably shouldn't come this way. Oh my God. Almost just fell. I could go down there, right? But yeah, it's not hurt myself. I'm pretty sure I just went off trail. I really cannot help but to say that this is by far one of the coolest trails I've ever been through. And I've been through a lot of them. Five yeah, people are fishing. I'm not sure if you should be fishing when people are tubing through. To we just own, I guess you just have to wear your water shoes and go from there. My biggest concern is just getting lost out here. That's That's what I feel like I would do. Well, I guess there's only so many trails, right? One has to connect to something to get you out of here. Eh, screw it, we'll go this way. We'll see what this trail lies ahead. I think our information QR codes that we scan is officially done, because I haven't seen one. I just realized that I left my drone at home and there's no way that I'm going to be able to get you guys a view from the sky. Granted, there is a lot of trees, but I really would have liked to see the river a lot more. Players mess up. We're going to know for the next time. I'm starting to feel like those guys lied to me because I'm like a mile deep in these woods. And I haven't seen anybody for the last few minutes. Change the scenery, skip one woods, go to the next woods. We vibing, we at it. Now see, there's two trails here. Going left. I feel like I should have gone right, but I've been going right this entire time and it's not been helping me. So you, there's another trail there. We're just gonna go straight. I think that's gonna be it guys for the day. I really had a fun today. Other than the fact that I, just there. Other than the fact that I wasn't able to get into Whiting Forest, if that's even how you say it. Uh, went all the way to Midland just to find out that Game On has moved and I'm pretty sure it's one that's in Saginaw. It's probably why they moved. Oh, uh, and that's how I made it. I made the best of today, you know? gonna go home make some food now maybe maybe get the drone up over by the refuge see if we can spot any animals over there but as always guys i'll see you guys next time captain out how the heck do i get out of here <laughs>